making soup and uh, the process is called saponification so, so just now we have learned uh, what is soup soup is, is actually a salt of fatty acid eh? okay and the salt contains uh, a long carbon chain okay that we call uh, what we call it an LQ group okay so now how to make soup eh? making soup is very easy okay you can uh, even uh, do it at home provided that you have alkali okay provided that you have alkali it's very easy most of the material you already have it in your house eh? you take let's say you have a container okay any container you pour some oil oil yes the cooking oil okay the cooking oil the cooking oils that's uh, normally in your house the cooking oil is the palm oil okay cooking oil it's the oil that you your moms use to cook something so the, the cooking oil and then uh, you add some alkali okay this alkali it can be a uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or any alkali that you can get you can get you can buy alkali from uh, some of the hardware shop so you add alkali into a cooking oil and then you heat it so use a stove the stove to heat it heat it for uh, and then stir it for uh, 20 to 30 minutes then you have soup that's all okay then you have soup but the soup is in liquids huh? the soup is in liquids so that is soup that's how easy to make soup huh? okay now let's say you don't want to have liquid soup but you want to have a solid soup you want to have some solid soup you don't want to have you don't want it to be liquids then what should you do you add some sodium chloride now what is sodium chloride sodium chloride is the table salt the salt that you eat every day that is sodium chloride okay so you see uh, most of the material you already have in your house except this alkali okay so you add some sodium chloride sodium chloride will reduce the solubility of the soup and uh, make it to become a solid okay and then you filter it then you will have solid soup that's all okay that's how easy to make soup but uh, to make quality soup then uh, you need to know the actual ratio you can experiment okay you can experiment with different oil okay you can use palm oil olive oil okay or uh, any oil okay um, and then uh, experiment it with a different ratio eh? okay uh, then so you will get uh, different types of soup just how easy to make soup and that process is called saponification now this is just a process okay but chemically chemically so what happens what happens to the cooking oil the alkali and this uh, sodium hydroxide okay i will discuss with you now before we discuss uh, making soup okay let's have uh, some revisions on the condensations reactions and hydrolysis reactions eh? okay do you still remember condensations reactions and hydrolysis reactions you have learned uh, condensations in form four and uh, hydrolysis in form five carbon compound never mind okay uh, i'll discuss with you eh? so what is condensations reaction and what is hydrolysis reactions now in chapter 2 form 5 chapter 2 okay carbon compound we have uh, learned that alcohol react with carboxylic acid to form ester right for example the so ethanoic acid react with ethanol then you will get ethyl ethanoate and uh, this is called ester and then some water is produced eh? okay uh, this is ethanoic acid this is ethanol ethanol okay so ethanoic acids react with ethanol then you will get this uh, this ester ethyl ethanoate and uh, water uh, water molecule is produced okay now what happens eh? what happened in this reaction stuff uh what happened is that the the oh the oh from this acid and the h from this alcohol is taken out is removed eh? is removed and they join together so we take out oh from carboxylic acid and we take out H from alcohol and this OH and H uh, combines together and then they form water okay they form water after we uh, taking out this OH and H okay then this alcohol and this carboxylic acid they join together they join together and then they form this uh, ester okay this ester and this process is called a condensation reaction. 
So what is the condensation reactions? Condensation reactions occurs to uh, two molecules that contains OH and H. So one molecule contains OH, another molecule, uh, let me label this as X and this is Y, okay? So one molecule, it contains uh, OH in the molecule and another molecule, it contains the hydrogens in the molecule. And uh, in the process, we take out the H and OH. We remove it. We take out this H and OH. So let's take out, okay? And then so this H and OH joins together, you form water. And this X and Y, after we take out the H and OH, this X and Y join together. Okay? And this process is called condensation. So condensation is a process where we take out a water molecule from two, two molecules, and these two molecules join together. Okay? That is called a condensation. Sir. Okay? And also this process is also called esterification because it's a process to produce a ester. This condensation is called esterification, but we have some other condensation reactions where it's not esterification. Eh? Okay, so condensation is uh, take out one water molecule and form a covalent bond between these two molecules. Okay, so that is condensation. Eh? Inversely, okay, the acid also can be decomposed to form alcohol and a salt by alkali such as a sodium hydroxide. So the ester. Okay, it has a covalent bond between this, just uh, the two molecules, right? From uh, two molecules from a carboxylic acid and alcohol. Eh? Okay, but uh, for example, just now we have X and Y, right? X and Y. We can also break. We can also break this bond. Okay, we can also break this bond. Now, how to break this bond? We can break this bond by giving by giving it uh, a water molecule. Okay by giving it a water molecule or or uh, we do not give it a water molecule but we make it react we make it react with uh, sodium hydroxide okay so we can either give it the water molecules to break it or we give it the sodium hydroxides to break it either way and this process is called hydrolysis so why is called hydrolysis is it hydro means water right so we add water to this, uh, this, to this uh, covalent bond and we break the bond. Eh? So that is uh, hydrolysis. So hydrolysis is the, is the opposite of condensation. Condensation, we take out water molecule and make them join together. That is condensation. Hydrolysis is we give a water molecule and then to break them away. Okay, so it's the opposite of condensation. Eh? Now, uh, from soup making, okay, the hydrolysis done is by adding the sodium hydroxide but not adding water, okay? So if we add sodium hydroxide to an ester, and the sodium hydroxide can break the covalent bond as well. Let's see this one, okay, these examples. Let's erase this first. So ethyl ethanoate, that, that is the ester that we produced just now, right? Okay, ethyl ethanoate. Uh, it, it react with uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, uh, so this sodium hydroxide, it has two parts, the sodium ion and the hydroxide ions. Eh? The sodium ion and the hydroxide ions. So the hydroxide ions will go to uh, ethyl, the alkyl. This is the alkyl. Eh? So the OH, the OH will combine with the alkyl. Eh? Combine with the alkyl. It will break, of course it will break the molecule first. Okay? It will break the molecules and then it combine with the uh, alkyl, this one is the ethyl, eh? you combine with ethyl, then you form a ethanol, okay? The OH will uh, break, break the bond and then combine with the alkyl and then form alcohol, okay? And the sodium, how about the sodium? The sodium, uh, after breaking this bond, okay, after breaking this bond, and uh, then these ethanoids will carry negative charge, eh? okay? Carry negative charge, and the sodium carry positive charge. So uh, the positive ions will be attracted to the negative ions eh? and then it will form a salt, okay? A salt of fatty acid, a salt of fatty acid. And this is soup, okay? This is soup if the chain is long enough, okay? This one is too short. Remember, uh, fatty acid, it need at least four carbons. Eh? This one just two carbon. So, it, so, so this one is not a salt, okay? This one is not a salt. But this process is called hydrolysis. Eh? So hydrolysis. So what is hydrolysis? Hydrolysis is uh, we add one water molecule to the covalent bond and break the bond. Or we add a sodium 
hydroxide. Now you, you need to know uh, sodium hydroxide. The structure is uh, is pretty much the same as the structures of a water. Water is H O H, right? Okay, water is H O H, and in electrolysis we learn that this H O H actually it can de decompose to form hydrogens and hydroxide ions. Uh, okay, similar to sodium hydroxide. Okay, this one H O H, this one N A O N A. OH okay and uh, this NaOH it can decompose the form sodium ion and hydroxide ion so you see okay they are uh, pretty much the same so uh, not only you add one water molecule okay if you add a sodium hydroxide molecules to this uh, this ester it can also break the covalent bond eh? break the covalent bond and this is called hydrolysis okay and uh, this is a process to produce salt okay this is a process to produce salt Okay, so that is uh, condensation and uh, saponification is a hydrolysis reaction. Sir.